Hi, I am Corbin Erickson. I am a design engineer at Redicott Manufacturing. We are here today at Redhead Equipment in Saskatoon to talk about some chopper adjustments to optimize the performance of your chopper. Once you're happy with the feeding of your chopper, you will move on to the stationary knife bar. Here you will adjust your knife bar for a cut that you're satisfied with. Um, the finer cut, the smaller you go with the cut, the more power you're going to use and the harder it is to blow wide. So you got to find a happy medium that's going to suit your residue needs and adjust it appropriately. From the knife bar, you're going to move on to the, the floor and the tailboard adjustment. These have to be adjusted together to make sure that you maintain your velocity for a, a wide spread. Um, the tailboards are split tailboard, so you can adjust them separately if you got an offset header or if you have uh, different widths for your straw straight cutting or, or your swathing, you can adjust the, the tailboards independently. We have an option where you can adjust them from the cab, so if you got a side wind, you can, you can lower one side to drop the straw into the standing stubble before the wind can pick it up, or you can raise it up at the headland and go the other way. If you need an extra narrow spread, we've got the fins that are adjustable. You can lift these covers here and adjust the fins with a wrench to, to a narrow spread, bringing everything in. If you're under 30 feet, you probably don't want our wide spread kit, which is the, these scoop fins. Uh, if you're over 35 feet or up to 35 to 50 feet, you'll need this, this scoop fin to give you a, a further direction of the straw. <laughs> 